Hello movie buffs, good news at the box office. Let's begin with Inside Out. What is going on inside their head? The inner workings of the human psyche is explored in Inside Out. If you think that's too boring or high-minded for an animated film, you're absolutely wrong. Inside Out is one of the best movies I've seen this year. Big credit goes to Pete Docter, the guy who gave us Up and Monsters, Inc. He co-directed this one with Ronnie Del Carmen and created the best Pixar movie since, well, Up. The intricate story centers around Riley when her family moves from the Midwest to San Francisco. Emotional conflict erupts. Her emotions are represented by Joy, voiced by Amy Poehler, Fear with Bill Hader, Anger with Louis Black, Disgust with Mindy Kaling, and the outcast Sadness, voiced by Phyllis Smith. Inside Out is smart, moving, and brilliantly crafted even though younger kids may be lost in some of the psycho babble, but have no fear. They will be delighted with a gorgeous animation. And for that, Inside Out gets the perfect 4 out of 4 kisses. From a PG-rated animated flick to an R-rated dramedy, let's talk about Dope. My name is Malcolm Adekandi. Funny, heartfelt, provocative. Dope is one of those rare cinematic treasures that exceeds all your expectations. <laughs> what did I just say? This Sundance winner is written and directed by Rick Famuyiwa, who based the film on his own experiences. Channel through my own experiences. At the heart of the film is the fantastic Shamik Moore. He's Malcolm, a self-described geek in Inglewood who loves 90s rap and sings in a punk band with his best friend's jib, played by Tony Revalori from the Grand Budapest Hotel, and my favorite, Deggy, a tough-as-nails lesbian played by Kiersey Clemens. Try as I may, I could not be butch. <laughs> Dope perfectly blends comedy and drama with an explosive soundtrack by Pharrell Williams. It's a thought-provoking tale about growing up up and fitting in. Can you dig it? And for that, Dope also gets a perfect 4 out of 4 kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. Both movies are quite dope. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, turning inside out.